John was five years old. He did not talk and had an abundance of energy. I was his preschool teacher and would learn he had been removed from a bad home situation and had already bounced between countless foster homes. I am proud to say that I have now been John's mom for 35 years. John will tell you that he's missing a little piece of his 18th chromosome and that he has just a tad of autism. He'll never drive a car or live alone, but the thing that breaks John's heart the most is that he'll never get to marry his girlfriend, Erin, his cupcake, and that breaks my heart too. I am the executive director of Family Support Network. At FSN, we provide support, education, and caring connections to the family members of infants and children with special needs. There are over 4,000 children with disabilities in Guilford County, and most of them have a brother or sister. For 17 years, FSN ran a successful support program for siblings, where every month, over 30 children came together for support, learning, and fun. Unfortunately, due to funding and capacity issues, FSN had to close that program in 2014. Why support siblings? The life expectancy of individuals with developmental disabilities has doubled in recent years. My husband and I, we wish we could care for John for the rest of his life. But realistically, that responsibility will rest on the shoulders of John's three brothers. So it is imperative that we begin to equip kids with the tools to advocate, to understand, and to cope from an early age. As you can tell from the shade of my hair, this is not my first rodeo. <laughs> But of all the hats I've worn, working with the siblings has been some of the most touching work I've done. These kids are typically more compassionate and mature than their peers. But alongside that, they face other big emotions, including fear, embarrassment, guilt, and a need to be perfect. Not wanting to add any additional stress to their parents' lives, they often stuff their emotions and their questions Questions like, did I cause her seizure? Or how do I deal with feeling like I'm invisible? As they come together and share their stories, their faces come to life when they discover that happens to someone else too. With help from the Future Fund, FSN will develop a strong and innovative program for siblings by bringing in peer mentors, counselors, and artists to help siblings express their emotions to share deep dialogue and create a safe space to learn skills that will last a lifetime. Do it for John and his brothers. They would tell you it's worth it. Thank you. Judges. Wow, what a unique space you're feeling. Thank you for that. I think that innovation is a key part of tonight. Thank you for seeing that. Uh, very compelling pitch. Very, uh, I can tell you're very passionate about about this, and uh, it feels good to be in a place of purpose every day. So absolutely, I'm very, very fortunate. Yes. Yeah, I I bet I'm not alone uh, in this audience, in that I've rarely thought about the emotional burden of siblings of children with disabilities. Uh, so I think that's an amazing effort that you're doing. And without you, uh, who knows if that would be getting done. So thank you. Thank you so much.